Okay, let's talk about the history of these soils. Now, the old soil of these two is the Talon. It's quite old. I'd say it's probably from the, um, the 1990s. Um, and the Nitex quite modern. It's only about a year old. But it's a year old. But the Nitex quite modern. It's only about a year old. But I do have old soils here. I do have a 38 cc. I forgot I had this. Otherwise, we would have showed it in the last video. Um, similar stuff. Very similar. So, I'll do an archaeological dig. Now, where the oil cap and fuel cap is, very similar, but different enough to be different. So, as the earlier version, this tank won't fit, I don't think. The handle's different, so the handle comes off, there's a screw underneath there, and the handle pulls apart. So, enough to be different. The pull size, enough to be different. Um, there's an engine mount just here, uh, but it's still very similar. The handle will still fit. Um, the spikes, dog spikes and stuff will still fit. There's parts that will still interchange, but just as a family member, just the ugly brother. Um, the mufflers are the same. This muffler has been modified. Um, you have to modify the mufflers to make them um, perform. You just drill a hole for the top. There's a, yeah, a baffle plate in the center of the muffler where the um, where that seal, seal is all creased on the side of the muffler. You have to go through that and you go to the back. And the air flows up, comes around. It's highly restricted. So if you do that, I, I prefer these are um, half inch pipes, but I feel like so they got three quarter inch pipe twins and they get a lot of power. So modify that. Uh, they get a lot, lot of heat. So if you don't do it, they stink hot and they won't rev. Um, that's the way they design it. Now, I do have another one as well. It's a spare parts. I pulled the top off a bit ago. So to show you. Last video I talked about. Um, Difference in um, transfer chambers. Now, if you look at this one here, there's um, lines on this pulsar here, like, like I suppose, cogga lines, um, very similar. Uh, it's a brand name called Ross, which is part of Australian sort of stuff. Now, same um, soil, Ross. It's missing those parts there, the cogga lines. Same fuel tank, oil pump, so same stuff as that. Um, same pulsar. On there now, the pull side knee tech is completely different. So it's a different wider one. It's the same as the talent, so a different wider one. So parts like that won't fit. As far as I know, the um, the pores and stuff inside the pull side will interchange, but the pull side so might bolt on, but it doesn't hide the um, the AV mount. So there's differences like that. Now, as for the cylinder, this is a, a two transfer chamber. The cylinder, it's only got um, two transfers, there's no lines on top of the cylinder, so it's flat. Um, the compression on this is, is nowhere near the same as the Nitec, it's, um, it's, not, it's not an easy start either, but it's nowhere near the same compression, so we'll go down to Oh, hang on, there's a broken pull star, go about that. Nowhere near the same compression. This one's been poured, but... It doesn't have compression like the other guys have got. It's just really doughy. Look, you know, I'll put it down here. Talk about chain saws. They do. You want to learn to pull it. Grab these saws. A lot of people throw them out. They, they do, their, do their fuel lines in really easy. So, too much compression. They build up, but yeah, nothing compared to these other saws. I did the talent and did it before. Didn't mean run for a while, so that's down a bit, but it'll come up. Um, so what you're looking at, um, see how the the talent's got one cover. That's it. So it's a knee tech one full cover. This Ross source, they've got a a cover for air filler. It's different, so it's split. So um, you can't buy parts. It's the biggest problem. If you want to fix your soils up, you can. Now they got a bit of air filler. It's sort of in a way. I still don't like them though. This one's missing is rubber gasket. Crap gets through, tea bag air filled, don't like. Um, it took me months to get that rubber part there. Um, the choke lever was missing on the other one. So this one this one really go if it wants. But see, over here there's a rubber mount on the air filler. Um, I don't have that fell on. That um, choke lever is off a um, Shindower. 
um, to make it work. So the, or the fuel on there's a bit of split, cracked just there. But one of those things there, um, I don't, it's not a straight up, up. it's a straight, um, straight from the car, it's uh, uh, almost uh, uh, a conventional setup. But um, one of those things, yeah, that's all right. It's got a purge line, but it does work really well. But once you work out how these work, you get some power. But um, most people, as soon as they break down their front of my so I got um, this through a whole heap of saws. Well, you know, six saws one way. Um, this saw here, I got the, I think, 20 bucks. Um, it was running, but not very good. It did run really well in there, but nothing compared to the Talon, and nothing compared to the Nitec. So, it's one of those things, history. So, if you'll find these saws, the early ones have twin, um, um, top, twin top covers. Um, you probably need to change the um, the pull stars are slightly different. The A mounts, AV mounts are different. You probably find the um, chain bags are different. I'm not sure what it is. Look at that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, that's chain bag. That's chain bag there. Get in there, take. Running again. I'm seeing it rain. So, you probably find the new tech will probably fit the same little anti vibration thing you see here, the same as the Ross, same little vibration. Handbars will be still the same. Let me see, yes, bird drive. Same um, wood spikes on this one, dogs. This one's missing its spike. Um, muffler is different again, but. But the air is still bog on though. See there. These have got less, less pollution. Let more air out. You find that the um, earlier ones, I'll show you the, the earlier ones, um, the baffle. Move this out of the, the baffle is not um, whirled. So the knee tech, the baffle there is actually braised into the muffler, which makes it harder. These earlier ones, you actually can remove that baffle. So you can drill a bigger hole through the whole thing and let more air out, so that's the first thing I would do if you get them. Um, but yeah, they're worth, they're worth fucking around. If you want to learn how to pour, pour a chainsaw, i go one of these first. Nice and light. Only problem being a light and small bar, if it kicks back, it, it will kick back so fast, it will kick you in the face, it will catch your face open. So be wearful of that, but you can't buy parts. So you better find one of these, and buy another one, um, like, um, at the moment, um, there's a guy in Sydney he's selling um uh where's my torch? Yeah, get my torch. My new Chinese made torch. And also Sydney or Melbourne. They're selling a uh, Ross a rock, sorry. Um forty six CC um Chinese saw, which is a different saw again. But that's a one to one ratio pull star. So there's all sorts of stuff. He's got, uh, I think, three of them. One works. One's brand new. One's in parts. So look for a deal like that. And um, you can work around um, how to pour a saw. And once you've done it, you'll go, once you pour a saw and you're successful with your pour job, you won't go back to a standard one. I'm telling you now, once you have the power, you wow. You'll never actually go back to a standard one. And when you do run into a standard one, you go, why? Well, why are they doing it? It's simply because they do it for warranty, so... If this saw is meant to last for 12 months, with no issues, they make it so it lasts for 12 months. If it blows up 11 months, you want a new one back. But, you know, if you do the right thing and tune the right way, there's plenty of videos out there to tune. But um, run a bit rich. Once you realise how rich, rich is rich, um, you won't break your saw. Just warm it up. And the old um, rule of thumb was, years ago, I don't recommend this now, my no is to have a smoky cigarette. And once your cigarette's gone, start using the saw. So it's warm up with the time for a cigarette. So, say, start the thing and let's sit there for a minute. Once it warms up, it won't play up at all. But anyway, part of the history. But yeah, handlebars, chain brake cover, carbies, uh, air filter in some respects. Um, the horn would probably interchange you play with that. Um, you can see the difference before what the air filter was. But just things like that, um, the way they mount the air filter. Um, it's always different this one. 
And they can't be that different. The accelerators on this side instead of the uh, cable. Okay, so that's different. But yeah, just little things like that. But yeah, anyway, history. Alright, guys, over and out.